Hi everyone, join me in this segment as we go through the 91mm Swiss Army Knives by Victorinox. We'll go through the layers of the 91mm Swiss Army Knives and some of the models that have been produced under each layer. Without further ado, let's go. Okay, everyone take a deep breath because it's going to be a long video. We're going to explore the different layers of 91mm Swiss Army Knives produced by Victorinox. Now it's impossible for me to go through every single model issued because this is the de facto size issued by Victorinox for the general populace and is by far the most popular form factor as far as Swiss Army knives go. We will explore some of the models according to layers in brief and in future, should you subscribe, I may do different review videos of each. At one layer, Victorinox used to make these two Swiss army knives, but they are both hard to find. The first is the waiter. The Victorinox waiter plus is a single layer 91mm Swiss army knife and is very similar to the 84mm waiter, except that unlike the 84mm, it adds the plus scale tools and the mini screwdriver in the corkscrew. Quite a few tools for a slim model. Then there is the long discontinued 91mm Golfer Special, a single layer with a divot repair tool. At two layers, we have the form factor that started it all. The original Swiss Army Knife, as embodied by the Spartan. The Spartan is probably the most common and well-known 91mm Victorinox Swiss Army Knife. It is a direct descendant of the historic Victorinox officer's knife and having essentially the same tool set as the original knife, but featuring modern versions of the tools. It is available in numerous colours and handle designs. Now nearly all Victorinox 91mm Swiss Army knives contain the six main tools and the two scale tools of the Spartan. So it can be considered to be the base model to which all the other models add and occasionally subtract tools. Here we have the Tinker. Perhaps one of the most popular models ever. This tool set, most commonly associated with the MacGyver series, It is a Spartan, but substitutes the corkscrew for a Phillips screwdriver. All other tools remain the same as the Spartan. So as you can see, the Tinker is a Spartan with a screwdriver instead of a corkscrew. Other popular two-layer models include the Compact. I don't have the Compact per se, but this is its predecessor called the Golfer 1 and the Golfer 2. This is the Golfer 1. It has the same tool set as a compact, except back then it was called the Golfer 1. And the hook has got a nail file. This is the Golfer 1. The Golfer 1 was subsequently renamed the Compact. And then they made the Golfer 2, which is essentially the same tool set. However, instead of the combination tool, they added on the Divot tool, which makes it a proper Golfer. Also a compact tool set, but with a twist. A Swiss watch, 
on a Swiss knife. This is the Timekeeper. It is the compact tool set, the scissors, the main blade, the combination tool, the hook. Notice it does not have the nail file. It has Roman numerals. This is called the Timekeeper one and it's working beautifully. So, Swiss watch on a Swiss knife. The second timekeeper had Arabic numerals. Then there is the Swiss army knife, which I believe almost has a cult movement. And this is called the scientist. A two layer Victorinox model that includes two layers. It includes the combination tool, but has got an inline Phillips screwdriver and a magnifying glass. This is the older version of the magnifying glass. This scientist model is a brand new model from 1982. This model is, I think, highly prized by collectors, even though it's not particularly old. And I think it was not produced in large numbers and is fairly rare. It's discontinued. Moving on to three layers, there are so many models that are too numerous to mention. Here are some of the models in three layers. For purposes of this video, let's take a look at the camper, the climber, hiker, super tinker, and perhaps the voyager. The camper here is actually a Spartan. It's a Spartan, which adds on the wood saw. This is the camper, a Spartan with a wood saw. This, I believe, is a climber. Of course, it's one of these special edition ones. And a climber essentially adds on the scissors to the Spartan. So get a Spartan. See, if you take a Spartan with the corkscrew, of course, and you add that layer of scissors that you see in there, you get a climber. Then you've got the Super Tinker. And the Super Tinker, like the Climber, it is a Climber. If you replace the corkscrew with a Phillips, you get a Super Tinker. So here you've got the Camper, the Super Tinker and the Climber. Like the Scientist is popular with collectors, there was also the Yeoman. The Victorinox Yeoman is a three-layer 91mm model with, you know, the same set of tools as the Explorer, but providing the same basic functionality in three but not four layers. Moving into the 21st century, Victorinox introduced the Cyber Tool S or Cyber Tool 29 as a three-layer knife. This hiker in wood scales is a tinker with a wood saw. This hiker then is really just a camper with a corkscrew instead of a Phillips. Moving up from two layers to three layers, we have the super tinker that adds on the scissors and also the hook compared to the two layer tinker. This is a climber. 
if you add a digital clock to the scales and plus scale tools, you get what is known as the Voyager. This is the camper. This is the climber. The main differences here are obviously the scissors and saw. While the camper has got the saw as the third layer, the climber has got the scissors as its third layer. This is the super tinker and this is the climber. Note the differences are only the climber has got the corkscrew while the super tinker has got the Phillips screwdriver. All other tools remain the same. At four layers, the models that Victorinox produce are also too numerous to mention. Here's the list. And it's impossible to go through all of them in this brief video. So suffice to say that we'll be looking at some of the models, but not all. So let's start with everyone's favorite. If you take a climber and you add a saw, or you take a Spartan and add scissors and a saw, you get the Huntsman. Alternatively, if you take a camper and you emplace scissors in another layer, you get the Huntsman. If you take this climber and you add a saw layer to it, you get the Huntsman. Yes, here's an old example from the 1990s of a Huntsman and you have the main blade, you have the small blade, you have the can opener and precision Phillips screwdriver, you have the cap lifter, wire stripper, screwdriver there, flathead and you'll have the scissors here. You'll have the saw. The corkscrew. Note that this is an old model, so the scales won't have that hole for the pin. And this is such an old model that it doesn't even have the hook. It's got the toothpick and it's got the tweezers, but no hook as compared to... No hook if you look at the new Huntsman. That's the difference between the old Huntsman and the new Huntsman. Just the hook. Other than that, it's four layers. Now, if you take this corkscrew away, and you replace it with a Phillips screwdriver, you get a field master. And if you take the Huntsman wood saw, if you take the Huntsman's wood saw and you replace it with a metal saw and the metal file, you get the mountaineer. Then there's the deluxe tinker. The deluxe tinker takes this super tinker at three layers and adds on pliers. So once it has pliers, it's known as the deluxe tinker and no longer the super tinker. Then there is the ever popular Explorer, which features a magnifying glass and an inline Phillips screwdriver. Another example is this offbeat model known as the Voyager Lite. It's essentially a Voyager, but adds on the torchlight and the inline Phillips screwdriver. The Voyager light has got your standard opener layers, as you can see here. It's got a digital clock in its scales. There is a slot here for you to replace the battery and you basically access that by prying that little slot over there upwards. 
it has a clock, an alarm, and a countdown function. It's got an inline Phillips screwdriver. This is the case for you to basically replace your batteries off what is an on off torch light and also momentary. You have the scissors in the Voyager light. You have the main blade. You have the small blade. And these are called plus scale tools because all the scale tools are in one scale. Your toothpick, your pen, and your tweezers. Of course, this has got the pinhole and the pin and the additional tool on the corkscrew. The hook has got a nail file. And this is essentially a Voyager which adds on the torch light and the inline Phillips screwdriver, also considered to be four layers. At five layers, models listed here are the ones that have been produced. Models readily available are like this Ranger. This has got the hot stamping camping logo on it. And all it is, is that it is a Huntsman. It is a Huntsman which adds on the metal saw. This is the Ranger. It adds on the metal saw as compared to the Huntsman here. I must tell you how I admire this Ranger tool set as one layer up from the Huntsman. Apart from having all the tools of the Huntsman, it's got the metal saw. And at the back layer, they've added an inline screwdriver and this very, very sharp and very useful chisel. If you take this corkscrew and you change it out for Phillips screwdriver, you get the Master Craftsman or the Astronaut, but that has long since been discontinued. If you add a LED light and an inline Phillips to a four layer mountaineer, you get a mountaineer light. And if you add an LED light and an inline Phillips to a four layer huntsman, you get a huntsman light. As a further example of five layers, we have the CyberTool 34, or now known as the CyberTool M. M supposedly for medium, introduced in the year 2000. The unique feature of this particular cyber tool family is this bit driver. This bit driver comes with four interchangeable bits. They are all double sided. They're held in place by this metal ball so that it doesn't slip up. And these are the other interchangeable bits that you may put on your cyber tool. Many of the bits are designed for screw types and sizes commonly found in electronics and computer equipment. So when you close it, it fits like that, very neatly in. It also comes with pliers.
and then your standard climber layer back tools all reamer nothing on this end the multi-purpose hook the corkscrew with the mini tool the pin with the pin hole your pen here toothpick there tweezers there this comes in translucent red and is known as the cyber tool 34 or cyber tool m at five layers at six layers you've had the champion a and b which is the first iteration of the swiss champ champion a with a corkscrew and champion b with the phillips screwdriver you've had the craftsman you've had the cyber tool light and the expedition light sold in a kit package and you have the handyman the handyman is just one layer short of the infamous swiss champ actually two layers because it's considered six layers it's got your regular opening tools it has got your pliers your scissors the wood saw the metal saw the main blade small blade this is the handyman on the back it's got the same tools as the ranger well compared to the ranger it's this here pliers so if you take a ranger and you add on the pliers you get a handyman and out of the six layer range i think the handyman may be the only six layer model presently still in production of course it's a superb all-rounder that's the five layer that's the six layer at seven layers there used to be the champion c and champion plus before 2016 which was the swiss champ without the pliers and the current CyberTool L or CyberTool 41. At eight layers is the flagship Swiss Champ. Let's come back to tour the Swiss Champ in a while and look at the 11 layer Swiss Champ XL and Swiss Champ XLT. The XL extends the Swiss Champ by adding another three layers containing the spatula, electrician's blade, the small pruner blade, and the divot tool. While the XLT extends the Swiss champ with the spatula, bit driver, and bit holder, the electrician's blade, and the small pruner blade. Also, once upon a time, Victorinox experimented with 15 layers. Highly impractical to actually use, and it's just showmanship of what stacking all their layers and tools could look like. There was the Swiss Champ XAVT, and the Swiss Champ XAVT was the largest Swiss knife ever made by Victorinox. It offers 80 functions in a standard 91mm knife, including all the tools of the Swiss Champ and the Swiss Champ XLT, plus other tools. It has a massive 15 layers is 64.66 millimeters in width and consists of 118 individual pieces. A skilled craftsman assembles each knife by hand, performing more than 500 different operations to complete the assembly of a single Swiss Champ XAVT. 
The knife has interesting composite scales. The top scale contains all the electronic tools of the Traveller and the bottom scale is the latest electronic scales revision containing all four scale tools on one side. Victorinox have stated that this model is targeted mainly at collectors. If you take away the electronic scales from the XAVT and replace them with regular Celador scales, you get the Swiss Champ XXL. Then you have the XXLT, which extends the XLT with a butane lighter and then places a 93mm style inline reamer. Now continuing our twirl of the Swiss Champ. Swiss Champ twirl. Let's start with the scale tools. Well, let's start. That's the keyring. 33 functions. Keyring is a function. Tweezers. Toothpick. A pen. The mini tool. The pin, back tools, we start with the corkscrew, standard 91mm, we have next to it a very nice and sharp chisel, generally the same tools as the handyman the inline flathead screwdriver the multi-purpose hook the reamer or we have the can opener The flat head screwdriver, pry bar, cap lifter, wire stripper. Here we have a magnifying glass that's six times magnification, an inline screwdriver that actually gets really tiny screws as well. So well done, Victorinox. Right next to it, you have the pliers. Next, you have the scissors. Right next to it, you have the fish descaler, a ruler, a hook disgorger, and on this side is metric. Then you have the wood saw. The metal saw. main blade the small blade that's 33 functions and that's today pretty much the flagship model I would say of the Victorinox 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife that concludes our brief look at the layers of the 91mm Victorinox Swiss Army Knives. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next segment where we explore the layers of the 93mm form factor and more videos. Likes and comments are well appreciated. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Till next time, bye bye.